Hi, I'm Esther Tremaine and this is my review of Turkish Airlines economy class flight from Istanbul to Colombo. Uh, so I guess I gotta get used to this talking to the camera but I've just landed in Istanbul. Well I think we landed about half an hour ago but it took quite a long time from landing to drive to I don't know what the technical term is but where the plane parks once I got into the plane off the plane it was about 10 past 12 and my um, flight is at 10 past 2 so I've got a couple hours to burn I'm just gonna walk around and see if I can find a pharmacy Istanbul Airport is pretty impressive. There is ample seating everywhere with charging points. There are also tables and chairs with charging points if you need to do work on your laptop. The design of the airport is very open and clean. There are even a few small trees so you don't feel claustrophobic. It has a very al fresco vibe to it. One thing the airport is missing though is a pharmacy. I had a headache after my first flight and needed to stop at a pharmacy, however there wasn't one to be found. The airport is really huge and I spent well over 15 minutes walking around trying to find a pharmacy or the Turkish equivalent of boots. There are plenty of shopping options and food outlets and there are plenty of yummy Turkish delight samples everywhere. As the airport is pretty big, I would allow enough time to make your way to the gate for your flight. I had a takeoff just uh, after 2am in the morning, so it was pretty dark outside, plus it was raining so there wasn't much to film. Upon boarding the plane, there was an amenity kit waiting on the seat alongside a pillow and blanket. Inside the kit was a tub of lip balm, some slippers for those of you who like to take your shoes off during the flight, a pair of socks, an eye mask, toothbrush and toothpaste and earplugs. Hands down, this has to be one of the most comprehensive amenity kits that I've ever received on an economy class flight. I don't think I've ever received a kit with slippers. Although, I have to admit, I didn't use the slippers or socks as I don't remove my shoes during a flight as my feet do tend to swell when flying and I find trying to put my shoes back on at the end of a flight such a nightmare due to the swelling. I sat in seat 6K which is a bulkhead seat so had extra leg room. I did pay an additional £61.50 for this seat but the flight was over 10 hours long so it was definitely worth it in terms of being able to stretch your feet a little bit further or put your feet up on the bulkhead. It just makes flying economy class more comfortable especially during those long haul journeys. The seat had a good amount of width even though the table and screen were stored inside and under the armrest. I think in general Turkish Airlines have done a really good job in designing these seats so the width is not compromised. At the bottom of the seat to the left there was an international plug socket which didn't work and a USB charging point which worked fine. You might be able to see but the screen is just stored to the right of the charging point. The earphone socket was on the right armrest. The remote to control the screen is on the left armrest. You can also use this remote to call the flight attendant and turn your night light on and off. In general, Turkish Airlines offer an extensive in-flight entertainment system and this flight was no e exception. There was plenty of films to watch. I don't, I don't think I watched any films because I was too exhausted, I just needed to sleep. The economy class cabin comes in a 242 configuration. If you do opt for an extra legroom seat, I have two tips. Firstly, if possible, opt for the bulkhead seat 
as opposed to the emergency exit rows because seats on the emergency exit row can be a bit chilly or drafty and personally I hate being cold. Secondly, if you do go for a bulkhead seat, opt for the seats on the side of the plane as opposed to the middle, especially if it's behind the toilet. So for example, if a passenger gets up to go to this toilet here, but it's occupied and they notice that the toilet opposite and the toilet behind towards the back of the plane is empty, rather than walk towards the back of the plane it is more than likely that the passenger will choose to walk across your legs to get to the toilet and then back again to return to their seat. This happens to me almost every time I have booked the middle bulkhead seats behind the toilet and it does get pretty annoying. The toilets in the middle of the plane were a decent size and even had a full length mirror. In one of the toilets at the back of the plane, they did have further amenities such as hand cream and perfume. I pre-ordered a lacto-ovo vegetarian meal but unfortunately it was exactly the same as what I had eaten on the previous flight, the creamy pasta with vegetables. Again I ordered a glass of cherry juice which I thoroughly enjoyed. Turkish Airlines do offer a full drink service including alcoholic beverages but I rarely drink when flying as I try to avoid anything that will cause further dehydration. The creamy pasta came with the same salad however the chocolate mousse was much nicer than the one served on the flight from London to Istanbul. The milk also came with hummus and salad dressing. Like with the flight from London to Istanbul they served the hot bread after they finished serving all meals. Even though the pasta was a bit bland and it was exactly the same as the previous flight that didn't stop me from eating it all. The chocolate mousse on this flight was much nicer than the coffee flavoured mousse that they served on the Istanbul flight. On this flight breakfast was also served. For breakfast I had an omelette frittata type thing which was okay. It came with a side of salad and fruit and one of the standard pots of water. The omelette also came with a few mushrooms, a tomato and a chilli pepper. There were beautiful clear skies on the way to the Maldives where the plane stopped for a bit over an hour for some of the passengers to disembark. For passengers like myself that were making their way to Colombo, we had to remain seated. The flight attendants used this time to clean business class. After a short flight from the Maldives to Sri Lanka, I finally landed in Colombo. After immigration you get to a duty free section where literally everything is sold including washing machines which I must say is pretty uncommon. Do you agree? Let me know in the comment section down below. Also what's the most unusual item you've seen sold at an airport? Overall this flight was very comfortable but I do attribute this to paying a bit more for a seat with extra leg room but it was definitely worth it for such a long flight. Comment down below and let me know about your experience of long haul flights. Do you think it's worth paying additional for seats with extra leg room? If you're curious about how I spent my time in Sri Lanka, check out my vlogs and hotel reviews from the trip. I'll leave the links in the description below. If you like this video, give it the thumbs up and remember sharing is caring. Also subscribe and hit that notification bell and I'll see you soon for more flight reviews, hotel reviews and travel vlogs.